Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be taking a look at a hidden line of dialogue that reveals something unbelievable that Micah actually did to Lenny's girlfriend. So it's no secret that Micah Bell is a horrible person. We've seen him do some absolutely terrible things in game. And we'll even take a look at some of those examples that he does to the other ladies of the gang coming up. But one of the ladies of the gang that we don't actually get to see is Jenny. So Jenny Kirk was a member of the Vanderlyn gang, but she actually passed away. Uh, and we actually don't see her on screen at all. And according to Arthur and Hosea, Lenny Summers developed an attraction for her. And it seems as if Jenny had an attraction for him as well. Now, we know she passed away during the botched ferry robbery in 1899 when she was wounded. And the only time we technically see her is a grave that can be found in the Grizzlies. It's east of the glacier in Spider Gorge. And we can also see a rough sketch of her in Arthur's journal. So that should give you some idea of what she actually looks like. But other than that, we don't actually ever see her. Well, in Chapter 4, there's a companion activity where you can actually rob a stagecoach with Micah. However, here's the kicker. If you actually go about the mission normally, you won't hear this line of dialogue. Now, you might be wondering, what do I mean by going about this mission normally? Well, you basically get on your horses and you have to head towards a location in the swamp. And if you ride at a normal speed, you will miss this line of dialogue. So what you have to do is ride at a much slower speed so that you, Micah, and Bill can have this conversation about love and relationships. And this is where Micah admits to this. Well, if we really are going to escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're going to need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Uh -huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. Uh, that's different. See? This is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Mmm, sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. Ah, you just don't understand women, Morgan. <laughs> you got that right. Who you got your eye on then, Bill? Oh, I don't believe in attachment. Never has. You get soft, you get dead in my experience. Let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. I ain't talking about getting attached. Well, not in that sense. I'm always likely to despise them more afterwards. You're gonna make somebody a real lucky lady one of these days, Micah. You know I had Jenny. What? Yeah, around the back of the Blackwater camp. Dirty little thing, too. Come to think of it, I wonder if Lenny knows. Don't tell him that! She could have been carrying Micah Bell the fourth, for all I know. <laughs> Shame. Well, anyway, that's enough reminiscing about love. So holy smokes, Micah Bell reveals that she actually slept with him during the gang's camp out near Blackwater. And he describes her as a dirty little thing and ponders that she could have been carrying Micah Bell the fourth. As you guys know, he is Micah Bell the third. So Micah is a terrible person. He ends up hooking up with Lenny's girlfriend. And you can see that Arthur's first response is he can't believe it. But he's also worried about Lenny and that Micah should never tell Lenny about what just happened. So I really feel terrible for Lenny because not only does he lose the girl that he is really in love with, 
like super early on in the story, but it also seems as if Micah wanted to get involved with her as well. Now, I find this to be a little bit interesting because if Jenny is interested in a sweet, caring person like Lenny Summers, why would she be interested in a monster like Micah Bell? And that's why I think Micah could actually be lying here. I mean, we've known that Micah lies like so many times throughout the story, so why would this be any different? So he could very easily have been making this up, or he also could have forced himself on Jenny Kirk. And uh, that's how that situation could have ultimately happened. But that is what Micah actually did to Lenny's girlfriend in Red Dead Redemption 2. And this would not be the first time in which Micah has tried to do this with the other ladies of the gang. As you heard in that monologue, he talked about a gaggle of girls. He mentioned Abigail. So many times throughout the story, we see him trying to flirt with the ladies of the gang. And every single time, it fails. Take a listen to these moments right here. How about you bring that pretty little face over here for a kiss? Oh, you're breaking my heart, sugar pie. <laughs> you're a real charmer, ain't you? Just the merry dance of the sexes. Creep. Really, Mr. Bell? You flatter me. Tell me some How stories. You? About when you was young and pretty. Before time ravaged you. Oh, you horrible <laughs> man. <laughs> That's right. Mmm. How you keeping, Abigail? Just fine. Now, I never, uh, never told you this, but you're quite a woman. Thank you. Quite a woman. You can make a fella real happy. Bet you know how. I got work to do. Mm. Now, you're a sneaky one, Morgan. I know your type. Don't mind me. Bye now. That idiot. About as charming as a slug. You let me know if it gives you any more hassle. I imagine you was quite something once, Miss Grimshaw. Thank you. Yes, a long time ago. We all know flowers wither. Ain't no shame in it. <laughs> mm. You know, Miss Grimshaw, I bet you were a tiger. In your day. Bye now. Mind if I sit? Guess not. So, Abigail, how about you and I go into town sometime? I'm afraid mother and don't leave me much spare time, Mr. Bell. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, if you change your mind, I'd show you a real good time. Real good. And, uh, I've always fancied fathering. The boy has a father, Mr. Bell. If you say so. If you say so. Come along, Jack. Lost my appetite. <laughs> oh. Boy, what of it, cowpoke? She ain't yours. <clears throat> Don't you have nothing better to do? I'm just being friendly. No, you ain't. Uh, uh, on this beautiful night, will you dance with me, Miss Mary Beth? No, I will not. You're... I got two left feet. I'm not a monster, miss. No, of course you're not. 
You're not that interesting. Very funny. What you got there? Sure. Something about watching you clean it. Gets me all hot and bothered. I love it. You'll not charm me, Mr. Bell. <laughs> I'll certainly try. Hmm? <laughs> Might give people the wrong idea. And what would that be? That I like you. <laughs> no. Only thing you like is a bottle of whiskey. Everyone knows that, Miss Karen. They do. Oh, yes. Some folks is concerned. But not me. Your past worrying about nasty little thing. She gets what she deserves. What a horrible little piece of shit that feller is, Arthur. I couldn't agree with you more. Like hell's gift to women. You got that right. So I'm not going to lie, it's pretty funny to see Micah consistently get rejected by the ladies of the gang. And that's another reason why I believe Jenny Kirk was probably no exception and that that instance was likely a lie. But who knows, the only way we'll find out is if Rockstar somehow gives us a DLC or an expansion that takes place before the start of the gang uh, when that camp was in Blackwater and beyond. But as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this story and more. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.